Hello, welcome to Swahili Kingdom. And we've already learned about the compound tenses, the past perfect and the future perfect. But today, we are learning about the negation. So here are the clues. Check the formation, as in the clues here mean you should check these things before you check this video if you don't know much about them. Or you can check this video and go check the other vid the other videos that are, I've mentioned as clues so that you can have more knowledge, okay? If you don't know much about the clues that I've listed, the formation of the past perfect tense, formation of the future perfect tense, because you need to know how to form them before you can know how to negate them, okay? Check the verb kua and its negation. Kua is used so much in these tenses because these tenses are compound they use kua plus the main verb okay check the perfect tense as you can see we have past perfect tense and future perfect tense so the perfect tense is much involved here so go check the clues if you don't know much about about them so before anything i like to tell you about this app which has so many vocabularies daily used vocabularies and you can learn the vocabularies at a go and memorize them it has exercises it has 60 plus languages you can change any language you want okay choose any language you want so go to the description box below and download it start using it for you to memorize more vocabularies daily as you support Sohili kingdom thank you in forming the past perfect and future perfect tense, we conjugate kua with the appropriate infixes. The li for the past and ta for the future. Then the next verb, then the next verb, i.e. the main verb, put it in the present perfect tense. So you conjugate kua with li and ta, then the next verb you put it in the present perfect tense. You can check the video on the formation in this channel. I'll, I'll drop the link, so go check in the description below. Nilikuwa nimenunua kitabu. I had bought a book. When you need to negate these tenses, these tenses, take the phrase and negate the kuwa alone, leaving the other word as it was. So it's simple. Nilikuwa nimenunua kitabu becomes si kuwa nimenunua kitabu. I had not bought a book. So as you can see, nilikuwa is the only one negated. Nilikuwa, si kuwa. Nimenunua is left the same. Nilikuwa nimenunua kitabu, si kuwa nimenunua kitabu. So if you want to know how to negate the verb kuwa, go and check the video of kuwa. The link is in the description below. Know how to negate it if you still don't know how to examples with past perfect and future perfect tense negation si kuwa nimesoma kitabu i had not read a book hakuwa amenunua chakula cha sherehe he had not bought the food for the ceremony hawa kuwa wamekula chakula chao they had not eaten their food Hata kuwa amenunua chakula cha sherehe. He will not have bought the food for the ceremony. Hawata kuwa wamekula chakula chao. They will not have eaten their food. Sita kuwa nimesoma kitabu. I will not have read a book. So as you can see, the main part in the negation of the perfect and the future tense, the perfect and future compound tenses, it's the verb kuwa. How to negate the verb kuwa is the main purpose here. Because the other one is just in the present perfect tense. It doesn't change. Nimekuwa, nimekuwa. Nimekuwa without negation. Nim, I, I mean, not nimekuwa, sorry. Nimesoma without the negation. Nimesoma with the negation. The word which, is, which has the purpose, which carries the most meaning, is the negation of the word kuwa. So check, check that video if you don't know much about them. Adding the already tense. 
when you negate with the already tense, you get yet in these compound tenses. In this tense, you might want to use the already tense measure. I'll drop the link, which is yet when negated. So it's as simple as this. Conjugate the main verb to the already tense. Example, enda will become hajaenda. Hajaenda. Know how to conjugate the already tense too. The already, I'll drop the link for the already tense. So go check it out so that you can know all, this, all these things. I had not read that book yet. If you've noted already, sha is the only one added to the present perfect tense to make it the already tense. Okay, so that's all. I hope you've learned something and you've enjoyed the video. Until next time. So thank you so much and subscribe so that you can get notifications when a video is uploaded in this channel. We upload videos every Tuesday. Every Tuesday and Saturday are Swahili grammar. And every Thursday is the Swahili song translation. So you can comment the song that you would like to be translated, a Swahili song that you would like to be translated so that you can learn more vocabularies in that song. Because I believe when you know song a song, you can learn the vocabulary in that song very easily. So until next time, bye.